more people these days are in open relationships. Oh yeah, baby. Including you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I am in an open relationship, but that is very different to polyamory because they are two different things.、Um, open relationship is where you and your partner. Feel comfortable having sex with other people、mm-hmm. while you're still in a romantic relationship.、Um, I have been with my partner six years. We just had our sixth year anniversary in a swingers resort. Way! Wow! It was crazy. So, what is swinging? Is that different to being in an open relationship? It's along the same steps, but swinging is more where it's a couple thing, where you're swinging together. Then again, terms are changing rapidly, and language is developing in all different ways. You know, you don't have to have an open relationship or be polyamorous. You can just call it non-monogamy. What do you do about jealousy, though? Because I feel like if I opened up a relationship, I would constantly be super jealous, super hurt about any other activity that my partner was getting into. It's not something that anyone should rush into. It should really be an open discussion. That starts off testing the waters, see how your partner feels, hypotheticals, and then moving on to real situations. Like we've been doing this for a long time. We didn't just jump straight into it. We introduced little things like having a threesome with somebody, and then maybe going to a fetish club and watching. And until we've both felt comfortable and confident that it was okay, then yeah. Why do you think more people are doing swinging and open relationships now? I guess it's more of a relationship. Choice.、Uh, I, I honestly feel that it depends on the way that you love, because some people love another person and they only want them, and that's beautiful and perfect, and that's where you get marriages and monogamy. But there are other people that don't necessarily have an emotional attachment to sex, and this could be just a form of them actually becoming more and more intimate. I mean, every time my partner and I. Have fun with other people. We actually become so much closer ourselves because it reminds us why we're together and what we have. Yeah, I feel like monogamy is becoming a little bit outdated, but I still think there's a place for it. I mean, there's a lot to say in、uh, some sort of professor somewhere talking about evolution and animals, but it really depends on how you feel comfortable in the relationship.、Yeah. Non-monogamy isn't for everyone, and it doesn't work all the time. Sometimes my partner and I aren't non-monogamous, and we do just want to spend time with each other. But then, you know, sometimes you might want to fling with another person. It's rare that my partner and I. You know, go off and shag other people alone. We kind of keep this as a thing for both of us that we can both enjoy.、Um, why does monogamy work for you? I feel like I feel like monogamy is a strange one because it's very much what we've learned. Yeah, everyone's sort of taught that you fall in love, you get married, and you have kids.、Mm. And I think even though that is taught, I think building a family with someone and having that. Really strong connection with someone is really beautiful. It's so beautiful. And if it works for you, then I think it's totally fine.、Mm-hmm. And you shouldn't feel pressured to like be pushed into this world of like open sex. I think the biggest thing for me is jealousy because、mm-hmm. I just don't think I'd ever be able to cope with it. I- It's very possible. Everyone gets jealous feelings. I get jealous too, but we talk about the issues that we have, the jealousy that we have,、yeah. um, figure it out together, and move through it. Either I do something or or I don't. I think it also it's like how sexually active you are, like how much experimental sex do you want. Yeah, <laughs> and you never want to do anything that your partner's not one hundred percent totally okay with. With an open relationship, you need to be completely honest, down to the people that you fancy on the street, to the people that you're. Messaging to the people that you might be sleeping with, and you need to make sure you get your STI、oh, checks、yes. frequently. Absolutely, I mean, use should... condoms. <laughs> yes, condoms, and making sure you get STI checks because you don't want to pass your partner something because you know STIs happen. I still think you should get checked when you're in a relationship.、Too. Definitely. Oh my goodness, definitely. I think it's just important for everyone to get checked. <laughs>